we got vegan taco. We a vegan meal. Hold on, we got a vegan meal for the vegan Blake diet members. Yeah. Um, I got a bunch of vegan Blake diet members, and I'm just like, all right, we need to do a vegan meal. So we got a vegan taco pasta salad. This is a hundred percent vegan. This meal. Vegan taco pasta salad. Shout to all the vegan Blake diet members. What's up, the vegan peeps? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not vegan. I'm just doing something for my vegan clients. Ooh. I got a lot of vegan clients, so I got to show some love. And um, that's what we're doing. So let's do this. What's, What's up, guys? It's, it's vegan, vegan taco, taco pasta, pasta salad, salad time. time. Let's, let's go. go. Lose weight, lose weight Mustafa is spelled L-O-S-E. 50% of the world spells lose L-O-O-S-E. And that's just loose. Can you lose weight? I don't even know what the question was, but yes, you can lose weight. What what I focus on is losing fat without losing muscle. And a lot of diets don't, unfortunately. Um all right, last shot of the night. We got some. We got some honey whiskey. I don't know if I endorse this completely. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's honey whiskey. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst. I have Brugada, guys. I have. Mm -hmm. I'm Dominican right now. I have. Um, well, first of all, I gotta start getting paid for. I gotta start getting paid for these liquor endorsements. The, Jenny's got Brugada. Guys. I got honey whiskey. Is this diet good for women? Yes. Yeah. See where it says my diet at Lincoln Bio? With all due respect, your questions are answered at the link in my bio. Except and if, and if they're not, if they're not, that means they're not getting answered in this stream. All the free questions are answered at the link in the, in the bio. And I am a um, woman, right? Like, I, I, I'm a woman, right? I'm a woman. Yes. I am a woman. Women in intermittent fasting explained. Women. Every, every, pretty much like every question in here is just like if you just click the link. Popcorn and water diet, yeah. All right, sounds like a great idea, popcorn and water diet. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. cheers guys. Ooh, oh, I should get that for the, yeah. Oh my God, I don't know if I can take the whole shot, but cheers. Cheers. All right, let's go. Oh, fair. you guys know this guac no. is extra. This is not fair. I am upset. <laughs> I am so upset right now. Can't even reach. Can't even show you my guac. It's all so dirty. That did sound dirty. Can't that even show you dirty. my guac because it doesn't even make Jenny it. Jenny shouldn't be showing her guac on the internet. <laughs> Blake, you jealous? You're <laughs> jealous I'm showing you a guac, but cheers. I can take mine. <laughs> but not a guac cheese. Oh, yeah, we got... So, the tortillas are Fritos, are Frito-Lays, yeah, you know. Uh, so what are we cheering with? Like vegan here? tortillas. We're just Authentic cheers. Mexican Fritos. Oh, just cheers. Cheers, cheers, and then dig in. <laughs> the Hennessy's behind me. Cheers. <laughs> oh, God. I forgot there's pasta underneath this. I'm gonna pick another thing up. Don't mind the sound. Mmm. Mmm. So, I'm the plates this way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miss Muyaneka wants to see your guac. Hey. At least somebody wants to see my guac. Damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this meal? <laughs> what? This meal I'm being mindful of because like, all right, so Christina, Christina in the Blake Diet group asked how long does it take me to finish? Hi, Christina. Um, assuming you're, you're probably new to the group, right, Christina? So welcome, Christina. Mm -hmm. um, usually when I'm tipsy like I am, this meal, I think I'm going to finish it fast, but... We'd be like approaching an hour, I'd be like halfway through it, and, be, and then start eating fast. So, in, in feel, defense of that... I feel like it totally varies sometimes when it comes to drunkenness. 
in defense of that, I'm gonna be munching and talking the whole time. So, just to get this done. Mm. Sup, Jasmine? Why am I so having trouble seeing Jasmine, right? Yes. That's Jasmine. Cutting him? What up, Jasmine? Mm. We're doing a vegan meal for the vegan Blake Diet members. Yeah! Or. And, the also, peeps. and also the non vegan Blake Diet members who are interested in what a vegan meal would look like. Mm -hmm. I'm really glad we did this. Me too. So. I'm not a supporter. I'm not vegan, but I want to support. I definitely do. How often do I uh, take bowel movements? As many times as you do. You are so classy with that question. Just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I take the same amount of bowel movements as you do. Mm. Unless that's zero. Or one. I'm very regular. Mm. Well, Annalie, mm? even though most of my meals are not vegan, you guys realize I eat fucking who's who coolers your hair? Why don't I try Arabian food? I've I've oh, done a lot of I've done a fuckload of halal meals. What would you say? What were you telling to? Excuse me. To uh, Jasmine? Hmm? About the vegan meals? Hmm? Oh, Fritos make the... Tastes so good. I eat about... I eat over 10 pounds of vegetables a week. And I probably eat out... Once or twice a week, and that's the low vegetable days. Mm. And like yesterday, out of fruits and vegetables, I eat about 15 pounds a week. I believe that. Yeah. That's more than a baby. Like, yesterday I had four pounds of fruit. We are having a vegan meal, guys, for those who walk in. Oh, this is a pork. Mmm. So... The pork is good. There's, Krishna, you love our challenges. Krishna. <laughs> you tried it and gained 77 pounds a day. I'm sorry, meatless pork. If you tried it, you'd be in the Blake Diet group. Mm. <laughs> and you wouldn't have gained 7 pounds a day. You tried what you thought this was. And gain seven pounds a day. <laughs> I don't know what you thought this was. Hmm. No, totally worth it. Totally worth it. We're gonna be chewing it for a while, huh? I didn't even hear myself. We're gonna be chewing a lot. <laughs> My jaw already hurts, yeah. I'm almost gonna have another drink because of it, huh? I may have one. I already unbuckled my pants and everything. You tried <coughs> my diet and gained seven pounds. Can you tell me what's the right thing? The right thing is to not lie and say you tried my diet when you're not in the group with the people who are actually doing my diet. <laughs> if you want to learn my diet, you go here. You watch the tutorials. You ask questions in the private group. I set you up on your macros. We make sure you're set to lose weight. If that's a choice. Give you recommendations for micros. Have the support system that we have. Hello. Instead you're like, oh, I'm gonna try what this guy's doing yet. This sounds good. Why would I need to join? Why would I need to join? I could just fucking do what I think he's doing.
I want a little bit more dough though. Yeah. Mm. My potassium is so high. I'm like. Mm. You gotta get a second when we live. Oh, together. by the way, Sal. <laughs> Sal, how are you making out? Uh, oh. oh, my bad. No, it's okay. How's the vegan stuff compared to real meat? I, I like the meatless pork. Different and fine. No, I like the meatless pork. Different and fine. Yeah. That's what I would say. Mm. It's not tricking me. Look, this is not my first time having vegan food. It's not tricking me into thinking, oh my god, this is... This is not real pork, <laughs> but it's fucking damn good. Mm -hmm. Nikki, it took me way longer than you. I was gonna say the same thing. No, no offense, and when, I don't want in any way disrespect you, but like it, it took me like a year, I think. But well, maybe I wasn't focused on it. I, don't, I wasn't focused on that. That was, that was never my end goal. So... Maybe. I don't know. That was never my goal. At the time, no. when I started doing that, nobody was doing it. No. So... Yeah, it's not, right. you. It's, different, yeah. it's not even like, like... We had a mentor that was like... Hmm. You had Blake, Blake 201, I was not the first person to do it, but on this level with this type of shit, yes, I was the first person to do it. And everybody was like, at that time, everybody was like, yo, it's crazy. Mm. It's totally crazy. Um, <laughs> I was like, if the science is this, then I can do this. And the science was that, and I was able to do that. And the funny thing is, I just fell in love with it. I just, it had. Nick, it is awesome. It totally is awesome. This, this story, the story of how that came about. What's up, Cade? Hmm. Hey. Is. It's fucking crazy. Like, if I went through the the whole story... Which I think you will. No, of course I will. Of course I will. Mm. What's up, Renee? Hey. <laughs> no, <was> like, totally. <laughs> yeah, we have. Thank you, highly medicated. Seriously? Appreciate it. We have three cameras going. I haven't even paid attention to the center ones. I'm still cheering. If you're 27 and you weigh 95 pounds, you do not need my diet. Mm. You do not. This is a diet. This is a weight loss diet. If you're if you're 95 pounds, you can't finish your food if you can eat all day. We eat less meals, but eat like more fat ass. You eat more meals. Although, I mean, although we are in maintenance or not, or sometimes, sometimes, the, although you could gain weight if you are trying to gain weight. No. Uh, if you if you eat all day and you're 95 pounds, why would you eat less meals? Hmm. I didn't even tell you. I went to CVS yesterday. I'm sorry, I don't remember the person's name, the register. I'm sorry, please tell me your name. We read the register and he's like, you're Virginia. I was like, oh, uh-oh, I'm in With trouble. With CVS, in the city or Jersey? No, right here in Jersey, Centerbrook. Why do I can't remember her name? I'm sorry, oh my God, please tell me, I'm sorry. I'm like, I was looking a mess. God, you know when you go to CVS and you look a mess? I'm like, 
Oh my god, it's like you ran into the person that you like dated in high school for like three years, all of a sudden he sees you. I'm like, oh no! <laughs> That's what happened with somebody who was at the It's register. better when people call her Blake's girlfriend. That's the best. Like No, I was like But he was awesome, he was pretty awesome. When people when people don't recognize her as Big Jenny and they recognize her as Blake's girlfriend, that's the best. They're like, hey Blake, two oh one! Hey, Blake's girlfriend. Like, yeah. it's usually younger kids. The younger kids are It's usually cool. younger kids because they have no filter. It's fucking hilarious. I don't think it's that funny. I think it's kind of cute because they're, like, really genuine about it. No, he no she he, does. He legitimately, I, I, oh, my God, guys. Anyways. I haven't. It happens. These are my bike friends. No, I got them. Yo, relax, relax, oh, okay. S. What happened, S? She said, no, Blake, you're Jenny's boyfriend. I am, but she better slow her roll. <laughs> what slow your roll, Sherry. <laughs> I remember. I remember when I used to eat with a timer, and mm. when I used to eat with a timer. Oh my god! I, oh. The reason why I stopped eating with a timer is because mm. I talk to people in my streams. When I had a timer, I was doing this back, whatever, a few years ago. Mm -hmm. I was doing this. Not a stream. And I was like putting a timer on because the reason why I started using the timer is because people didn't believe I was eating live. All right, people didn't believe I was actually eating all the food. They're like, it's fake, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, if I put a timer, people can see, see the, the, the time. Like, people can see the time yeah. speed up and slow, whatever. What I didn't realize is people thought I was racing. So everybody was like, oh my God, it took him this long to, oh, I could eat that faster. Or like, wow, he ate that fast. Or that all, the comments, fast, yeah. all the comments were in relation to a timer, which had nothing to do with me being on the internet, talking to like you guys as I ate. Mm -hmm. It was all about the timer. Mm -hmm. No, Nikki, if it, the, that's, that's the reason to do it, Nikki, when it's natural and it works for you. And that's why, that's why I decided to do it in the first place. Yeah. Oh. I'm still indecisive. Who am I kidding? <laughs> <clears throat> if I didn't do it, it wouldn't be as big of a thing as it is now. This is like years later. How many years? Four and a half years. Four and a half four? years. I was gonna say yeah. four. Four years? This is four and a half years of me fucking doing this OMAD shit. Four years. It wasn't called OMAD then because nobody was doing it. It didn't have a name. <coughs> and then people get confused like. And then people think, if you want to do the Blake diet, you have to eat one meal a day, which pisses me off, because... Mm. Oh, the guac! <gasps> no, you don't have to eat one meal a day, and it... And even the Blake diet members, you don't have to eat one meal a day, like, pay attention. Mm. It is hard to get past it, though, sometimes. I got it. You got it. Mm. Mm. Christian, you have awesome. You have an awesome day. Christian's leaving? No. Later. I use negativity to boost sales. I use negativity to boost sales. <laughs> like, if you think like I'm like paying attention to negativity because like I'm all like oh, butthurt and upset. No. They think they're winning and I'm making sales and bringing people into the BlakeDiet.com. So, mm -hmm. see, somebody's asking about how I'm dealing with sleeping problems after, I've never had a sleeping problem. You have an over-workaholic problem. <laughs> You're dealing with a hustler problem. Purposely not sleeping problem. When I was on Dr. Oz, 
When I was on Dr. Oz, I worked an hour away. I worked a full-time job from 8.30 to 5. One, one hour, one and a half away. So you're taking away, actually, it would take me about an hour and a half each way. So you're talking about a three-hour daily commute, plus what, eight and a half hours a day. I'm talking about 11 and a half hours, not even like getting dressed or getting to work. Then you're talking about running the Blake diet, live streaming with you guys, friggin' food shopping, running my Instagram, running my YouTube, and the Dr. Oz friggin' the Dr. Oz cast, cast, um, not his cast, his his crew, his people corresponding with me, asking me for videos, asking me for links, asking me for info, and saying, oh, we need you to take a sleep test at the same time, too. 24-7. Literally. No. Literally. You're taking, you're taking a period in my life where I was already working 16 hours a day to, like, where I was working, like, 18 hours a day, 19 hours a day, maybe more. At that point, how many, like, what do you think? Like, I don't know. Well, I wasn't a girlfriend at the time because I was a girlfriend, but I wasn't, it wasn't even part of it. Yeah, Jenny, like, I it didn't even be mad. There was so much <laughs> stuff to do that it's like, you just see Blake, like a freaking mouse, like. Literally. Specifically, that, that, those, that three month period was like, tough. To like I'm building a business. What? I'm running my social media. Mm -hmm. <laughs> shit is fucking up. Shit is good. Shit is bad. Shit is I'm good getting shit, shit bad. ready for a TV show. Oh, I'm working a freaking full time job. Mm. For real. Mm. No, There's good. so much going on. They're like, turn this, turn this friggin'. Remember to turn the sleep thing on. I couldn't even remember to fucking turn it on. I turned it on twice. Like, literally. I turned it on two times. <clears throat> What's up, Gabby? Pull something. Just because they wanted something to say. Mm. And granted, if you were fucking at a point in your life where you're sleeping two and a half, three hours, but you were freaking making your fucking dream a reality, then fucking go for it, man. No, but there's a difference. Some people... Make sleep the priority. And I can see why. I try to. I do try to. It makes a huge difference. Jenny, what time did you go to sleep last night? Alright, we're not talking about What time did you go to sleep last night, Jenny? 1.30, 2 o'clock. What time do you have to be up this morning? I don't know. I took my mom to the airport, okay? At what time? Freaking 3.45 she called me. My alarm was supposed to go off at 3.55. 10 minutes, mom. So Jenny slept for an hour and 45 minutes I last night. Know. Was it because I'm, she I'm ate a preaching. giant taco? I'm no. I'm preaching. I'm <laughs> preaching here. I'm preaching. <laughs> I would love to be able to sleep. No. You know what? Things happen. You know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? <laughs> Very uncomfortable. Even for me when I first started, Kate. Nothing. I think I'm the only one that was like, no. <laughs> Mustafa. No. I'll tell you guys about that. I'll tell you guys about my experience afterwards because everyone rushed and I'm just like, Hold yeah, on, no, okay, Mustafa. Okay. Oh, no, I'm talking first about all, oh. Mustafa and everybody else who Mustafa. fucking goes right back at all the haters on Instagram. Oh. I appreciate all of you. I appreciate all of you saying, just telling people to get out with the negativity because mm. we don't need negativity. Um, and like, it's not fucking. Is negativity really, like, helping you or hurting me or, like, all this is ruining the stream for people who are positive, like. Well, no, no. The, the, from what I've heard, because obviously, no. People who push on negativity get, like, a little off of, like, oh, I got, I released my negativity onto somebody else, I think. It helps, helps them, it helps, it helps people. It helps them feel better. It helps people. About their situation. Children's Playhouse and everybody else. It helps people who 
or who negative either ones. hate their lives or like yeah. hate themselves or whatever. It helps them when they when they try to drop it on somebody else or like try to go at somebody else. It helps them feel better about themselves. But the problem is, it doesn't last long. It doesn't. Yeah, they're negative, but they're still yeah. watching. The problem is, it doesn't last long. Oh no, I'm not supporting. I'm just telling you that that's. If, if somebody's saying you're gonna die in like six weeks, made them feel better for even like a week, that would be good for them. But it's it only time. it literally makes them feel better for like fifteen seconds maybe, and then they're just like, oh man, I hate my life. Fuck. And then they gotta say something else. And then they gotta say something else. So, no, I don't. I don't want to please haters. No. I use the haters as shitty scape. It's like if somebody's gonna come at me, why not pull in some new Blake Diet members from that person? Like the haters are the per the people who make me money, and that's from the start. If 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 nobody hated me. Would anybody know who I am? Like the whole weekend, every every all the time, Kate. Um, he has his there weekend where you guys crash, like once a week. Oh, for sleep? Yeah, mine is Mondays. Have you ever noticed? Monday. My Mondays are like non-existent sometimes. Usually Mondays for me too. Jenny's Monday night, me is Monday, no. just I can't get up on Monday. No, Monday night, I just... Monday night is like 16 hours sleep, like... I, ha I have to, I have to. My body's asking for it. I don't have a choice. The whole reason... Mm. The whole reason why I have some Instagram followers to begin with is because of haters. Mm. No, but, but, but wait, 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 wait. If you ever have the time... Ever, ever, ever. What year was that? 2015? 16. There's a series of posts from when Blake went from 5K to 70K. And if you ever find the 70K waffle video, just scroll down. Uh, yeah. The freaking comments. People would go there for freaking just. People would be like, I'm just, just here. I'm just, just here for the comments. Just for the comments. Because. Even our own friends, my own girlfriend, which I just saw recently, she was cracking up like, she's like, what the hell is going on? Why, why are you being so hilarious to these people, like dissing them and like, you, you know what? I can't even explain. You just, you just have to. Alright, uh, Jenny, yo, this, this meal, you need to eat this meal. I am eating this meal. I'm bringing. Oh, uh, to do it? Yeah, we crash, we crash at least once a week. Oh, it used gosh. to be like once every two weeks, Cade. Or whatever, no. but like now the way we've been running, like well, the, we've been partying. That's what, which I was saying that we should chill out, but we haven't. Oh, here's the thing. It was Jenny's birthday last month. We were partying like crazy. We we're eating out a lot. That's we had an I... awesome time last month. But by the same token, I mean by the same token, I need to get out and party because like I know, I know like not so much to the Blake Diet group because. I talk to you guys more, but like to the general internet, to Instagram, to YouTube, like it seems like my life is like so glamorous. Like he just fuck around, fucks around all day, and then and then eats. Like that's what he does all day. <clears throat> and my day is just sitting at a fucking computer, <laughs> just like doing like bullshit, <laughs> bullshit tasks. And I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying like. It's so freaking stressful. Just little fucking five minute tasks all fucking day. And then sometimes a half hour task, sometimes an hour task, sometimes a two hour task. But it's like all these little tasks. Forget it. It's the fact that you're by yourself. I'm sitting there doing it. I'm sitting there doing it. And eventually, I need to just fucking get out and let loose for a couple hours before I come back and then turn on cameras to film a video for my business and all that. So, like, I went to the gym, I think, I forget what day it was, I think it was Wednesday. I went to the gym Wednesday because I was like, I was losing my mind. And I'm just like, I just need to get out. I Because somebody in the Blake Dye group was asking me about home workouts. I was just like, 
and I can't work out at home anymore because if I try to work out at home, somebody has a question, I go to answer it. Somebody else has a question, I go to answer it. I get an email from Phil. I get some from Jenny. Restaurant reaches out to me, needs, needs pricing for this. Somebody else friggin' mm -hmm. oh, health insurance is this, like, it's one thing after another, and my, my 1 p.m. workout, now it's like 4 p.m., it's just like, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here <laughs> for a couple hours. Um, <clears throat> replenish your sanity. So being snowed in is nothing. Like I've got cabin fever, fever. Well, I was gonna talk about snowed in. No, the Blake Knight members don't get all the attention. But they didn't give you guys attention. I go These back and couples. forth. I'm talking to one one set of people at a time. I'm even getting confused sometimes. I'm sorry. I'm also trying to keep up on the conversation. It's not like <laughs> I'm trying to see. Yo. This meal, all right, I'm gonna show you the dent. One second. Here we go. Check this out. I don't know who Ryden is, Sherry. I know who you are. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sugarfoot said, as they should. They should what? As they, as they should, like seriously. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't, should they get all the attention as opposed to people who are too lazy to fucking read the FAQ on my website? Why are they answering my question? It's in the fucking FAQ. <laughs> 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 this is vegan meat. This is meatless meat. And um, the full ingredients of this meal. Mm. Are available to members of Blake Diet. Yeah. Um. I'm super happy with this meal. Mm, um. When we say crash hard, Cade, I mean like. What do you consider crashing hard? How many hours sleep? Eight. No, I crash hard. Twelve. No, six. No. In the day. 8 to 6.30 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. or 6 a.m. is the most. No, I'm not talking about go to sleep for 24 hours. That's not crash hard. No. That's what I'm saying. Let's clarify this because because I don't know what crash, what crash hard means to, to Kate and Well, Blake doesn't count. You don't sleep. Even crash hard doesn't Even me crashing hard, I'm getting up and working in the, in the middle. So we got here, we got a... But, we got a friggin' poblano pepper. Yeah, poblano pepper right here. Yeah. Isn't that spicy? Check that out. Are these spicy? I know they are. Are these spicy? I know they are. I don't know if it's not spicy. I don't think it's spicy. Really? No, they are. They're not. What? They A little bit. They're not really. So... Mm -mm. They could have been. They have a tiny, tiny little kick. Mm -mm. Tiny little kick. They're not jalapenos. Mm -hmm. I was gonna get jalapenos, Jenny's like, no! And I'm like, ah! Mm -hmm. No way, guys. Mm. What's up, Bacchini Dio? <clears throat> Everybody's gonna weigh in on their peppers. Mm. Hey! The bigger it is, isn't that spicy. No. The bigger the pepper, the spicier? No. No, the smaller, the smaller the pepper, the spicier. Mm. 
Oh no, we'll go. We'll go on like a at least a week tear. Huh? Kate said if he did, if he got two to three hours a night for even four days, he probably couldn't wake up for eighteen hours. Oh man. No, I do. Eighteen hours sleep seems like a dream, but two to three hours. I got to answer you guys. No, two to three. You guys have a ton of questions. I can't drink and I can't disappear from the Blake diet for eighteen hours. Mm mm. It's really serious. Mm. Most you can sleep is seven or eight. No, I can. No, I can sleep. This is what happens when I crash. Yeah. When I crash, I wake up to go to the bathroom and just go back to bed and crash. Because <laughs> I'm just I'm just cooked. Alright. I'm talking about like I could go to the I could wake up to go to the bathroom like three or four times and just go back to bed and crash and just like mm -hmm. alright. But it, yeah, it does happen. It does happen to the best of us. What's up, AJ? Mm -hmm. You can't win them all. You can't win them all. Mm. Would that be... Here's a question. I was going to say, would that be your superpower if you were a superhero? Mm -hmm. You would never have to sleep ever. But no, that's a bad, that's a bad choice. If you had to choose, if you're a superhero, yo, think about this. Everybody think about this wisely. Some of you have thought about this. You're a you have one superpower. Oh, man. Only one. Only one. One superpower. What do you want it to be? One. Uh-oh. <clears throat> you want to be invisible? Invisibility? Teleporting? Not to sleep? Only one. <laughs> to delete Sherry's Instagram. <laughs> Riding the chariot fighting apparently. Oh my god. To fly. To be Thanos. I'm surprised nobody said unlimited calories without getting without getting weight. What the fuck? I mean hiccups. Read minds. Hmm. That's scary. Transport any object to you to be like Jesus to be able to go forward and back in time time travel to lie Why Wolverine does not count you have one superpower. It's not to be somebody else. It's one superpower mm. You got to name a name. You got to name the power Name your power What's up, YouTube peeps? Name your power. What's your superpower? What? Superpower? I'm sorry, Tatiana. To fly, no question. Mm. Definitely time travel, past and future. Past lives or just past like when you were two? Hmm. Wait, what? Hmm? Yeah, sorry our jaws aren't hurting. Erase debt. <laughs> Erase debt. What about unlimited money? <laughs> would you really want to read minds? Like, think, like think, about, think about it. That's a scary thought. Personally, I can barely make, maintain my own no. mind. 
Or let me let me say this. There is not one gift, one gift that doesn't come out with does doesn't come out without a curse. No upside has no downside. Every upside has a downside. Every single one. And people don't realize it when when they're looking at it like that, like every good thing mm. has something bad attached to it. Unlimited money? Oh my god. No love. More money, more problems. Like, mm -hmm. A lot of problems. All I could do with that is. Like, mm. What's up, Tatiana? Mm -hmm. Like, this is what I was thinking. Well, I'll, give you, I'll give you some things. I haven't decided yet. I haven't decided yet, but people are asking me. So, this is what I was thinking. To be able to be friggin' this age forever. To be able to be 36, Blake at 36 forever, just stay this age forever. But, does that mean I can die? Does, does that, but if you, if you choose that you can't die, mm. does that mean you just keep aging to like 400 until you're like a friggin... Yeah. No. There's something about aging and wisdom that I appreciate, even at 30. At first I was going to be like, I want to be like 22 forever. Like, and I'm like, no, fuck that. I want to be me now. There's no way I would ever want to be 22 again. Oh my God, no. I'd rather be now. The knowledge I know now versus then. I'm That's what I'm saying. I like, there's something about aging that you kind of appreciate the fact that 10 years ago things were different. Me at like, 21. Especially with the Instagram 10 years ago situation. I had an awesome time at 21 with no responsibility. I mean, no. responsibility, yeah. I showed up to work and all that shit, but... Not like a real yeah. responsibility. But I didn't have wisdom. No. Well... But, but mm. if I was back at 21, would I only have a flip phone? Oh. Would I only have a flip phone while everybody else had like fucking real phones? Mm. You wouldn't get no. <laughs> you would still get pussy with a flip phone. These days? Hmm? These days? Um... You could. You have a better chance of getting pussy with a flip phone, I think. If. In 2019. If. All right, let me let me bring let me bring out this right, scenario. Up because my bladder is if, about to if you have a flip phone, you have a better chance at getting pussy than if you don't have a flip phone. If you sent two guys out, two twins with the same game, or I gotta say same game, I meant like where are you going? Same technique and skill, and right. one dude has a flip phone, the other the other dude doesn't, and some girl goes, is that a fucking flip phone? <laughs> You already have like a pretty good chance to sleep oh, with her. Oh god. Well, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Some girl. Oh, hey. Anthony, Anthony's <laughs> posted her fucking rotary. <laughs> Anthony, I'm saying it's a bad, it's not a bad opener. If you want to get laid and you got nothing to say, flip open that flip phone and be like, your fucking star tag. No. Oh. You wanna know what else? You wanna know what else? So you just had a flip phone on your phone. Let me tell you what I read today. I read today that, and I could be t totally wrong. The, mo the, the Motorola Razor is coming back on the market for okay. $1,500. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Anthony. Um, the Motorola Razor is coming back on the market for apparently $1,500. I'm buy it. Sherry, the pizza did. The pizza kid tried the pizza move, but he didn't try what I asked him to do. So what happened? I have a set up the way he explained it. He tried something related. Mm -hmm. But didn't follow any instructions. Mm. No, because I was. Alright, I'm not even gonna talk about it. I don't in case he's watching, I don't wanna I don't wanna no. I want this kid to succeed, right? 
I want this piece of kit to succeed. How can you work out if it's raining outside and you only work out outside? Go outside in the rain. Come on, Jonathan. Man up. Don't be up. Hmm. Just kidding, I'm not gonna go out there in the yeah. rain. There's no way I'm going out there in the rain. Especially not with my hair straight, maybe curly a little bit. Drizzle. Just kidding. Just kidding. I read it's coming back in the market for fifteen hundred dollars. The razor. Go ahead. Yo, you pull that out in front of a in front of a hot chick. My bladder. Hold She's on. gonna notice you. She's gonna notice you, right, Jenny? Yeah. Uh huh. Yo, Motorola, send me a phone. I'm gonna test it. Not to the fullest, because obviously I'm in a happy relationship with the girl in the bathroom. <laughs> but <laughs> yo, just go to a bar, whatever, food baby, whatever. You just go to a bar, you're just like flip the phone, and some girl go like, "Oh my God, is that?" Wait, picture this. Picture this. You meet a chick my age. You meet a chick my age. She's like. Oh my god, is that a Motorola Razor? She's like, and it just took her back to a different time when she didn't have like responsibility and she was just partying, having fun, and didn't have to worry about all these bills and blah 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 blah. And friggin' you're it. It's like when I eat cereal. You're it. <laughs> Anthony's like, yo, I'm seriously thinking. That's what I'm saying. Anthony, if you could find one, find one now. Nah. And send me one too. Blake, you don't need one. And no, but you want to test this out, no, right? No, whatever, I will. Jenny wants to test. <laughs> oh yeah, Jenny. Guys, Jenny wants me to test it out uh -huh. too. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see if it really works, just for the inst Instagram and the Blake yeah. Guy group, right? Of course, of course. Right, guys. Yeah. Nostalgia rules, no. The Blake Guy wants to know. Yo, nostalgia rules over everything else. When when she's at a bar and she friggin' she just hates everything that's going on and you pull out the phone she had and fucking when she was a senior in college. I didn't say high school, oh my god, you yeah. You just fucking won. You just won. Where the beep did you get that phone? Yeah. All you gotta do is be like, yo, girl, you remember T9? Yo, you remember T9? And she's like, oh my god, can I just have on your phone? Yo, Jenny knows. Jenny there, knows. There's this one phone I lost. It was a green Motorola. It was a flip phone, too, but like right around the razor time, too. I'm like, oh, what the fuck? I can't believe I lost this phone. And after that, somewhere near, I got an iPhone, whatever. But still, it's like, if I see that phone again. <laughs> You little person, you if, stole my phone. If Jenny met a guy with that phone, she might just rig and ditch me that day. No. No. I'm like, damn. They're saying to another level, guys. I want it all. <laughs> what kind of phone did he have? T Mobile Sidekick. Oh, hi. <laughs> no. He had a next toe. Bleep. Oh, God. Yo, bleep, bleep back. Like, you know, half of the people don't even know. Um, no, people know here. We did the phone thing. They I went back. I went through all my cell phones yeah. from '96. Yo, what's your aim? Well, the people who are, people who are not. Yo, that's what we're talking about. Yo, there, if if you're too young to know what we're talking about, Ooh. then too bad. Okay. Oh God. <laughs> too bad. Thirty dollars in eBay, free shipping. I'm gonna get one. Mm. I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna get one just to have it. Mm-hmm. I'll fucking whenever, whenever he comes out with it, be sure to be by yeah. side. I should get one, uh -huh. connect it, mm -hmm. and then call people from the stream. Mm. Mm. He doesn't want anything to do with with the smartphone. You know an old guy that worked with intelligence? <laughs> yeah, no, I gave oh, yeah. I, I gave the whole phone history. Mm-hmm. 
Yo, old people are scared of everything, though. Mm -hmm. nice, I'm not saying. They don't have a reason. It's just because we've been more comfortable. You don't think Alexa's listening to everything we fucking say, right? She knows I like Cardi. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Alexa knows. She doesn't answer so quickly because she's just waiting. She's listening the whole friggin' time. <laughs> she's like got a cup on the door. She's eavesdropping. And she's like, oh. Wait, oh, you're talking to me? You're talking to me? Oh, okay. I'll answer this one. Hmm, I don't know that. He's listening to you. They sell He's you gonna a, sell you that. They sell you a $150 toy who doesn't know that all the time. I bet you if the CIA asked, she would know that. But anyway, yeah. Guys don't even have to work. And you go. Back in the day to get it to get a chick online. You, you had to fucking you had to go in the mailbox. You had to look for a free 10 hours of AOL CD. Free 20 hours of AOL jackpot. Right? 1994. You guys don't even know what a DM. fucking CD is. You had to put that CD in the CD-ROM drive. Oh my God. You had to fucking fire up your computer. Called drive on your Apple Watch. You had to fire up your computer, right? With your fucking <laughs> shitty, your shitty 14.4K dial-up modem. Yo, if you had my if my neighbor had like so a, my neighbors had like 33k modems and 56k modems and I was so fucking jealous because I have 14.4. I used to play Grand Theft Auto 1 on the internet, right? Grand Theft Auto 1 was the internet, on the computer though. only. It was on the computer only, right? And you controlled it with the arrow keys and the keyboard. You controlled it with the arrow keys and the keyboard. <laughs> Razor Snipes, oh, Wesley Snipes and White Man Can't Jump, pouch and all. That could happen. I was going to get pants like that, but Leopard. What was I going to say? I got fanny packs and stuff. So, yeah, you had to play like this. But you had to have a second phone because you were using the first phone to play on the internet. So you had to have two phones two in the house. And, like, as a kid, I, I, did, I was lucky enough to have my own line. So I'd be on the one line with my, with my boy playing mm -hmm. with the, on the computer like this. And I'd be like controlling the fucking car, and the car would be so choppy oh on the 14.4 modem. It'd be like, shh, shh, <laughs> shh, shh. And if you had to make a turn, if you had to make a turn in Grand Theft Auto 1 on the internet on a 14.4 modem, you had to see that turn a block away and hit that turn button and watch the car. And it would be like, shh, 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 shh. shh. Now? And that's that's how we fucking played the game. Literally. Literally, that's how it was. Fucking Nintendo, you had to blow on fucking cartridges. I freaking you don't understand my language, that's because you're too young. You had to fucking blow on Nintendo cartridges, you had to run them underwater, put a fucking piece of paper in the system. Your friend tripped over the controller and the screen just started blinking blue and purple. You're on like level eight and like somebody trips yeah. over the controller and the screen just starts blinking. No save game. There's no fucking save game. It's fucking over. It's a wrap, bitches. Kids these days. You're having such a moment. 84,000 carbs. Yeah. Hello, Blaze girlfriend. Hey. <laughs> Dude, it was so rough. We had it rough. I feel like you had a rough start with these games. Because these days are like, you play Fortnite? They're like, they just put on their fucking headset with their fucking ear pods. What the they're perfect like, times? They're like, your mother's a whore. Your mother, like these nine year old kids on the fucking internet. Perfect point. With fucking. New one in. With T1 lines, like, your mom's a whore. Yeah, go fuck yourself, buddy. No, they're not in. We couldn't do that. We couldn't do that back in the day. No, but they're the way that they're running things. Because <laughs> mm. these days don't even get it. No, we had it rough. The N64 games took so long. No, LJ, N64 was a blessing. <laughs> You're younger and good for you. Like, 
If you had to deal with regular, if you had to deal with regular Nintendo LJ, that was the worst. That was the worst thing ever. Regular Nintendo was so tough. Listen, I'm sure that people who are did you have Nintendo no, no, and people who are 30 years older than you? Oh, you had games. We didn't have games. We no, had a I'm ball. sure too. Or I'm sure else. too. I grew up towards the tail end of Atari, so like I played Atari, like. My neighbor had Atari. What's up, Gerard? Atari was like Atari was like eight bit. Atari was it eight bit or I think eight bit's the lowest bit. No. That's what I'm saying. People thirty years older than you were not playing any games. There wasn't any video games. No, it was so bad. It was so bad back in the day. What was that? Atari was a joystick with a button. I remember when Nintendo came out with the power pad. Mm. Nintendo came up. Yeah, but you know what the difference was? Here's the difference. When Nintendo came out, and this is this is serious um, to all kids and parents right now. When Nintendo came out in, I want to say like eighty five. I want to say like no, no. Which Nintendo? Eighty five, eighty six. I was born in eighty two. It came in eighty, maybe eighty six, eighty seven. 86. Alexa, when did Nintendo come out? The Nintendo Switch was released worldwide on March 3rd, 2017. Hmm. Alexa, when did the original Nintendo come out? The software product Super Mario Brothers Slash Duck Hunt was released in 1988. Hmm. Alright, 88? That seems late. Oh, I feel like I ha Alright, so... No. Mario Brothers Duck Hunt was released in 88. That's when I got Nintendo. Okay? So, I remember because I got it because it came with Mario Brothers Duck Hunt. Mm -hmm. And again, it came with the orange Duck Hunt gun. Your dad had Atari NES. Thing barely functions. Oh, hell yeah. You still but, have it? Oh, I still have my original shit. What? It's hard. No, it's hard. You can't get, get it to work, but I still have it. But anyway. And we had a super power pad, which you ran on. You know Dance Dance Revolution, how they have the pads nowadays, but like that was like the first thing. And you had like track and field, where on track and field you would fucking run. You would run and then you'd just jump off the mat and jump back on before the guy fell. Because you had to be back on the mat before he like landed, otherwise he'd fall. But the longer the jump you get if you just stepped off the mat, it was fucking awesome back in the day. Then we had a duck hunt with the, with the fucking Nintendo gun. You had the power glove blisters for days. Oh, with the controllers. Those controllers were so not ergonomic. They gave you a square that you just like press your fingers into as hard as possible like razor blades. Those were the days where you just... When you used to still be able to throw controllers, you get so pissed off you'd launch the controller and be fine. <laughs> It'd be fine. Up until like, I would say up until PlayStation 2 and Xbox 2, you could launch controllers as hard as possible and most of the time they'd be okay. That's what I would say. Them. If you've never thrown a video game controller or never smashed a you're, cell phone. You're a game boy. Have you ever smashed a cell phone? In anger? No, I, I didn't. I dropped them just on my own, so I don't need to be smashing. No, shit. no, Jenny drops every Jenny drops her phone like four times a day. No, I don't need to be like throwing anything. Nintendo 85. I'm not the person who throws things when I'm angry. Alright, that makes sense. Nintendo 85, but Mario Duck on 88. Mm. But back to the, what I was saying. So you're about, saying basically before the 90s. Back what I was saying to people who have kids or kids. Back then, Nintendo wasn't something you played on a sunny, warm day. You didn't even play it on a cloudy, cold day. You went outside and you fucking played. Unless it was pouring rain, unless it was freezing cold, with no snow, and super shitty weather. Then you, can you played Nintendo when the street lights came on. Mm. You played at nighttime, but during the day, no. Nobody cared about Nintendo during the day. During the day, you went outside, you rode your bike, you got in trouble, you climbed into the sewer, 
You made fucking tree forts. You fucking. You did some cool shit. You found Playboy magazines. Fair. All kinds of badass stuff, but. <laughs> oh my god, the thumbs are completely screwed. Hey, these 90s were the best. You were outside all the time. Mm. But that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. And Anthony, that's why we smashed phones. That is why we smashed phones. Because we grew up in an era where you just toss video game controllers. And, like, it wasn't like... When you grow up, when you grow up from fucking 85, 88 to fucking 98... Right? Throwing video game controllers. When you get a cell phone and it doesn't work out according to your plan, what is all, what's, it's already in your head. I throw shit when it, when it doesn't go my way. And we would just fucking throw cell phones. <laughs> what's wrong with, yeah, what's wrong with sewer play? No, nah, you had to go into sewer. Oh. If you didn't go into sewer and you were a kid, seriously. Seriously? Seriously? Your mom used to kick you out of the house till dinner. That's what I'm saying. You came back home when it got dark or when the street lights went on or whatever, whatever your signal was. Like, that's what you did. You didn't friggin' just sit at home all day. But, like, <laughs> but nowadays, it felt so good after smashing your phone or controller on the floor. Oh, God. For it 35 felt fucking seconds. Great. You threw video controllers, not phones. I'm the, I'm completely against it. No, we used to launch everything. Everything.